All right, straight back into Home Sweet Home. So there is a safe right here. If you press down, that's what happens. I can only press up, so S is reset, that's why. Got it. Now when I stand here, it says a hint of something. I don't understand what that means. I guess I'm looking at these papers, but I can't really even see what's on these papers and interact with them, so. But there must be a number somewhere. I got a screwdriver and opened up a vent, but not the vent I thought it was good. Like, it just led to the bathroom hallway, which is kind of redundant, but I guess maybe if I need to sneak somewhere eventually that'll be useful. Hmm. From now I guess I need to find whatever I can put that combination in. Weird way I can see the reflection there. I'm gonna try and look pretty closely at things at the moment just to make sure I'm not missing out on something. Oh, this is a police station? I didn't put together this was a police station for some reason. Now the numbers. What oh, that leaf just scared me. If you guys spot any numbers, let me know. I'm looking around for them right now. I loosened the bolts to make that appear. Is there anything inside here before I go up or whatever? Hmm. Bolts, bolts, numbers, numbers, fun, fun. I'm just waiting to hear something. Oh my, oh my. Check that out. That seems good. Nothing more in the bathrooms, probably. I don't see like any numbers hidden here. It's because that pink thing is something. Don't think it is, though. Alright, there was a note upstairs. I guess I'm going to check it out just to see if there's anything that was a clue there. Um, don't give any hints unless, of course, I ask for them. It's not quite what I was expecting. What the hell? I got to get through the third floor night a lot lately, so I didn't return the key. I'll save in the office. No clue there. I will check the desk again. But please, in the future, just don't give any hints unless, of course, I ask for a hint. Part of the fun of solving puzzles is just that part. Now, it sounded like something roared up here and slammed the door shut, but I guess that was that. My desk, I'm going to assume the desk that's right next to the safe, because it did say something, but... I didn't hear anything on it, so... I will check it thoroughly. Please, Captain Bunchin's soft squares desk. Oh! The sign ran here. Ah! So that's why I kept on... Okay, I see. One eight six. Except this sounds a little bit weird. You know what? I think I get it. Let me look at this before I do it. I think I get it. I don't think this is. Also, not to mention, you can only roll to tens. I think I'm right about this. I think it's upside down. I think it's supposed to be ninety, eighty, ten. Because so I rolled it earlier, I could only go to tens. I couldn't stop at the in between numbers. And those are all lower numbers, which would be kind of weird for a combination for between 1 to fucking 100. It'd be kind of weird if all the numbers are in the very first stuff. So I'm pretty sure this is 90, 80, 10. Alright, so let's see. 90... actually is a good way to handle this sort of thing, just so, so it's not like confusing rotation. 10. Ta -da! Well, that was simpler than I thought it was, though the numbers were kind of well hidden. Wait, was I wrong? Wait, was I wrong? I thought I was right about this. I was so certain I was on the right track here. So it's not 90, 80, 10? Hmm, that makes this tricky. I was feeling so confident. What 
What does that to the left mean, though? Hmm. The problem is I can only go to tens, and I can. Ninety. Eighty. Ten. That's not right, I guess. Okay, so what am I missing here? Okay, so that's definitely 80, and that's definitely 10. Is the thing on the end of 9? Looks like a 9, but is it something else? Is there something, is there another step to this puzzle? Am I f confusing it wrong? Or maybe it's 10, 80, 90. Maybe read from right to left, that's a little bit weird, though. Hmm. Well, I'll try it. 10, 80, 90. No, it's not that either. Hmm. Maybe I'm putting the numbers wrong. Um, it cannot be the wrong rotation. You know why it's not the wrong rotation? I can only rotate it. What? There's literally only one button to rotate. If you look at the bottom, if you look at the controls, you see how it says W is rotate, S is reset. When it changes direction with rotation, it's doing that automatically. I'm not going the opposite direction myself. I'm just pressing the same button. It just starts reversing the opposite direction. So it's definitely not the wrong uh, rotation because there's only one button for rotation. Like this is me pressing W right now. And I select a number and this is me pressing W again. Uh, there you go. So it just it switches itself up basically. So they, in fact, I thought it was a smart way to handle it because then you could be like, okay, well then you know it's not wrong. At least I'm not doing wrong rotation because it's only set up so there's one button for rotation. Oh boy. Or there even would be a hint elsewhere. Hmm. The only number, like, okay, I'm sure the middle one is an 8. Even upside down, it'd still be an 8. That is definitely a 1. Even upside down, that'd still be a 1. But then, that is that, it has to be a 90. It's upside down, looks like a 6. It's a little bit weird. The 0 is bigger than the other ones, which makes it a little bit weirder as well, but... Hmm, tricky, tricky, tricky. Is there another clue hidden around somewhere around these parts? I was looking around the space one day, hoping I'll check up here just for one more second, see if there's anything else I missed, but. There's the thing I definitely cannot walk over. Can't go this way. I think the picture point, is, I, I, mean, I don't even know where another hint would be if it wasn't like right here. I looked around a little bit. But I might be saying grin weirdly. I think it's supposed to be like I think it's supposed to represent that's upside down because I'm like almost 100 percent sure this is upside down. Partially because you can only select the digits that are a multiple of ten, and you know they're all multiples of ten if they're upside down. But yeah, yeah. Of course, the clue could mean a little bit more than I think it does. Maybe it's just. Hmm. I'm 
just gonna try 1080 60 and then the opposite of that I don't know I don't think it'd be 60 but maybe Ten eighty sixty. Nope. How about if I try sixty eighty ten? Nope. Potentially is point to opposites. What do you mean by that at the moment? I'm trying to reason this a little bit and think about it. Hmm. The two arrows could mean something. It's a little bit weird they have an arrow at the bottom and an arrow at the top. There is a design on it that says Cheyo, but I don't really know what that means. They're all underlined. Not sure what that means either. Okay, okay. Why would I go to 60 if you're 10? You mean if they're opposites on 50? So you mean like a mirror image? So that 10 would be 60, 80 would be 30, and 90 would be 40. Well, if I look at the bottom of that dial. Hello there, VV. Maybe. That's kind of a weird puzzle. This is actually the answer. I'm going to assume it might be because I know the clue taker that just said that was. I would not have thought of that ever, if I'm going to be fucking honest. I, I don't think this clue demonstrates that well. well let's try it. So, 40, and then 80 turns into 30. Sure, I messed up. Okay, so let's. There's two ways to do this. I'm gonna. So wait. So it's gonna be, forty, thirty. Okay. I will start with. Oh, hey, I kept my forty. Forty. For ninety. And then for 80, go for 30, and then for 10, go for 60. Now the opposite, if it's 10 first, I mean start with 60, then go for 30, and then go for 40. That was really fuck. So when you say it, I can kind of see how the clue fits together. Like, okay, I get it. It's upside down and reversed to show you that's the... So I, I got the upside down thing. That's fine, I guess. You know, it's kind of an opt area. And I, I guess I just don't... I would have personally never gotten the clue to be like, okay, take the numbers, put them upside down, and then go on the opposite side of the dial to make it work out. Like... That's kind of an odd way to represent that? I don't know. Maybe there's something about this I don't know about which made it more obvious, but yeah, yeah. I, I shall take the keys. The third floor key. A key to unlock the third floor of the police station. I also feel like I'm going to get attacked on my way back. This is why I'm going to use sneak mode right now. I'm not certain I'll be attacked, but I'm pretty certain. I'm just sneaking. Don't mind me. Maybe I'm worried about nothing. It's just, the thing is, it's a little bit weird that I got the screwdriver to unscrew this. Because the only thing this provides is a shortcut this way. I Okay, I guess that turned out okay. 
Hmm. All's well that ends well, I suppose. I honestly expect a bit more of a struggle than that. That seemed fine, though. What was that screwdriver even for? That literally did nothing. Is that Jane? Jane! Jane! I like the change in echo when I got out of here. Is that Jane? Follower. That rolled in its place. Hmm. If I had to glance around, that seems fine. What else can I glance at? That note over there. Tusk. Jane's Diary on May 2013. It's got both pages. Let's see what it says. Front. Every time I lay down, I found myself in that strange place over and over again. I figured that the sleeping pills might be able to help me through this night and stop me from having this creepy nightmare. Back. <laughs> there must be rats inside the stair cupboard. Was that where the noise came from? If you keep this up, you'll end up in a mouse trap. I swear. I have a weird note, but okay. Door, of course, is open. Got Precious trophies first. Precious is like the principal's office or something. Or wait, not the principal. I'm not in the school. For some reason, I can't think I'm in the school, but no, this is a police station. So it's a very school-like police station, <laughs> at least by my standards, I guess. Okay, arrest warrant, Mr. Pykel Manaplu, the person that we keep on seeing. Any backside? Nope, I'll read it. Civil registration information. I number that number. First name, last name, Mr. Pickle Manapapaloon. Age 24 years old. Gender male. Day of birth, April 11th, 1978. Nationality, Thai. I need a sip of water. <sighs> Moo 8. Truck, Seoul Street, District, Silmun. Subdistrict, Don Mafal. Province, Yesathorn. <clears throat> Mr. Pykel Manabloom, a suspect in May robbery cases, a member of a motorcycle, a motorcycle theft gang in Yasathar and surrounding area. There are also charges of illegal racing on the highway in a brutal robbery act. A nearest source reported that Mr. Pykel is involved in illicit activities and automobile theft with other local gangsters as well. You think he's being framed for all this, or you think he actually did all of it? Maybe we're dealing like with his ghost or something. The motorcycle theft gang capture plan. They do have a plan to try and capture all the motorcycle gang peoples. Maybe they said maybe he didn't do the crimes they accused him of or using that to arrest him. It's a possibility. I'm definitely suspecting it. All right, well things seem fine right now. Yasaton Police Radio Station on Mr. Pichai Manapapun's chase. The police says the Pichai, the suspect of robbery cases and the leader of the gang, has run into a truck, which resulted in a sharp steel rod piercing through his left eye. Mr. Pichai was pronounced dead on the spot. The police are now collecting all the evidence for further investigation. There are still a number of bikers fleeing. Please call 02650. If you have seen anyone suspicious, the line will be available 24 hours a day. This is Sisu Pungsuat reporting. Latest report from the Yasutong Police Radio Station on Mr. Pichai Manapapun. I'll let it play out though. The police say it's the Pichai, the suspect of robbery cases and the leader of the gang. I mean, there is an exclamation point there. Ah, okay. I see. Now I know I can't go down to the second floor, I'm guessing, because of what I saw previously. Yep. It's the other side of the thing I saw earlier. But I can go up another floor to the fourth floor, which is where I need to lift this thing. But maybe I need to do something first. I feel like it's not going to be this easy. That door will not open. Hmm. Let me guess. It's not as easy as just flipping this. Before I go down and fix that, what's all in here? The fact there's even a bigger area around here that's kind of odd has me a little bit. Hmm.
But I guess it's fine? It seems pretty empty, though. I could go that way, but... Yeah, I know I'll go that way first. I'm just curious. Oh, wait, this is back in the main building. Okay. Yeah, this is the fourth floor, the thing that was blocked previously. Okay, I understand. I'm pretty sure I need to hook it on. The fact I have to go back and forth, back and forth, has me suspicious, but... Yep. Those are the footsteps of the big thing. And I'm right next to two big open areas. Oh boy. You know, I'm fine. This is fine. It's gonna crush me. some fun. <laughs> Didn't see nothing. back on the wait because he's looking back and forth right now. Big guy is having a great time. I peeked my head out just for a second, don't mind me. So they can see you when you're peeking. That's just that's what that confirmed for me right now. Oh boy! That she was kind of scary. Fun, fun. Risk it right then. Let's see. Just confirming. If you peek out, this guy can definitely see you. So peek out isn't an all safe thing. bookshelf there, okay. Let's see what I'm gonna do. Alrighty. Is that safe over there? I think I just have to run for the door. I think I snuck past successfully? I'm doing a stomping thing. I'm almost still expecting like a hand to smash to the wall whenever I escape one of these sequences. But yeah, yeah. Now we're just in the dark, dark, dark. Everyone's favorite dark. Get yourself ready in the dark. It's actually kind of oppressive. I won't crouch. I'm not hiding currently. I might be very shortly, but not at this very second. 
You know, she was in a different outfit than the last time we saw her. All white, which is notable. And she's walking away from us in the surrealistic ways. I think she's dead, or that, or something. I heard that sound. Special edition, Preda Insight Chapter 2. Anything on the back? No. Alright, what do we got? A Petra is a lost soul trapped in the eternal torture from its sin. The agonizing hunger and thirst cause it to mourn painfully and creepily all night long. A food offering is the only way to calm the wandering Presta. Set up an offering on the table with colorful tablecloth and one lit scented incense. Put food on the wait, wait, so Preda's lost soul trapped in eternal torture of sin. I, I think this is important. The food offering is the only way to calm down the wandering Preta. Set up an offering on the table with a colorful tablecloth and one lit incense. incense. So put food on tableware. Put a scented stick on the tableware. Three light the scented incense. All right. That's probably foreshadowing something I actually have to do, so... Jane? Tim! No! Don't follow me! Jane, it's me! Keep away from me! to calm the press, the offerings may help. Yep, time to do the very thing I just read about. It looks cool right there though, I'm not gonna lie. This is fine. Alright, so I need to put down food, then incense stick, then I need to light the incense stick. Which means I both need to find food and incense stick in the way the light is. You don't see me, do you? No, I chose a terrible table to hide under, but it's still a table. Picked up the he's picking up tables randomly. He actually just picked up the one I was hiding under, but I guess I've got this is like a time thing, he's taking out more of these tables the longer I take. So yeah, that wasn't him picking up me, it's him picking up tables, frustrated that he can't find me. Don't mind me, sir. Alright, food, incense. And a way to light it. This isn't food, right? You don't want to knock it over in case it's something like that. That is locked. That is locked. Seems like I need to find a few things. I need to find a way to unlock this. I'm sure there's something in here I need, but... For now, it's a dead end over here. I might die more than once during the sequence, so I'm gonna try. You can definitely bet I'm gonna be doing the trying thing. Please don't do that while I'm trying to sneak. Oh, hey. I can't move. I'm down. <laughs> I can't move to the ground. Well, I found the key, which I know where the key goes, so that's that's a bright side. The key has to open up the doors in the back, which is probably where I get at least the food. Or something. At least I'll get something. Oh, well, actually, whatever happened to Dreadout, it released? 
fully. And then it even had a spin-off slash kind of sequel, but not really. Did you not... Aye, aye. That opens... This cutscene plays again. Jane? Tim! No! Don't follow me! Jane, it's me! I had the same reaction as you there, Dragon. Whatever happened to- oh hey, there was something here this whole time, I just fucking missed it. It's a match. I'm gonna light it. But I had the same reaction, so I'm asking, whatever happened to Dread Out? It released a couple of years ago, actually. And it's already fully released, it even had a sequel. So... I've played both of them before. take, the more tables he's going to pick up. Make sure it's like anything over there. You're scary. the table. Stop doing scary things, sir. Alright. I know it's been, there was three episodes, Act Zero, Act One, Act Two, all of them released. Open this. Incense. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Also, oh, apparently, there's only one out of two keys I needed. means I'm pretty sure what I need to do, but I don't know how to do it. Oh, does this get loose enough I can now remove it? How am I supposed to get out of this then? see me and maybe he has to break through there. Oh wait, oh, oh, oh! Screwdriver. Tying screws. But I need to find a second key. I've got the incense. Now I just need to get the goddamn food. cleaning house of these tables. Fuck! I was hoping to hide, but no such luck. It's a hard sequence! Not to mention it's getting hard longer you take because you keep on removing tables. Fun, fun. I don't dislike the sequence, but it definitely has its little challenge stuff going on. 
screwdriver fun. At least I know where the screwdriver is next time. We're just gonna start away from here. I think I wanna locate where the food is first. Unless Chris, I'm supposed to do that first before that. Jane? Tim! No! Don't follow me! Jane, it's me! Tim! That was a cool design, though. Find a way to calm Preda. Offerings may help, so I get the matches. He's just sniping tables away. It's frankly just hard to judge where he's looking. Oh, he removed the table really close to me. Fills that, that screwdriver falls off from there. Well, now I'm done with this part. The problem is I don't know where the other key, which is where I assume this is where the food is inside, is supposed to go. I know where the tables are there and this is getting hard. Aye, aye. Not going out there yet. I didn't know why I tried that. It has to be over there where the light is, right? Found the other key. Oh boy. See, stop doing that, please. At least I'm in here. But of course, now if I die, I have to do all this again. Piece of photograph. What? Okay. Hold your horses. Is there anything more of this piece of photograph? Description. A piece of mysterious photograph. That is not what I came all the way back here for. But I guess it was. Maybe that's part of something? I don't fucking know. I thought I was getting food, though. Oh, boy. Um, I don't know where the food is. Wish me luck. Problem is, there's barely any tables! I had to make a run for it at some point. It's a hard sequence. Because right, I don't go back for that yet. This round, I'm not going to go for what I was going for originally first. I need to figure out where the fuck the food is. 
I thought the other cabinet was where the food was, but no, there's a mysterious photograph, which is probably relevant to something, but it seems more like a side thing that we'll actually need to do. There is no Jane? food. Jim? Maybe. It, no. I mean, if there's already food Don't on the table. Jane, then, it's yeah. me! Put the matches down. Can't even go that directly, he's just blocking it. Put food on the shelves. Is that food up there? <laughs> well, I found out where the food was. Just hiding over there. That actually means I'm gonna get fucking both keys before I enter there. The food's just right there. Okay, well, at least I now know what I'm doing this time. I figured out where all the things I wanna get are. Okay. <laughs> waiting, waiting. Collect that out. Drawer opens, crouch under. Jane? Hi, Jane. Jane! No! Don't follow me! Jane, it's me! Keep away from me! Ah! Oh, hi, Let's go that way. At least I know what I'm kind of looking for. He doesn't really look dead in this direction, so I can let's just kind of walk close and see me. He's going to attack a tiny is looking good. Don't know any of the details, and that's really honestly, I'm good without knowing. I honestly was expecting with the table I was on, so happy it wasn't that. I really thought I was going to lift my table right then. Okay, so that's one of the two keys. I can find the other one before I enter this area that actually had benefit me in the long run. Problem is, I didn't actually quite pick up where it was. Don't fuck with me! Should have ran out when he's doing this. You have a chance to, but I missed it. Stop taking my goddamn tables! <laughs> I'm forgetting where the door is. Where am I? Oh, I think I know. No, I'm not where I think I am. Okay, 
Okay, I think I know where I am, and how the fuck did I get so turned around? Yeah, okay, I know where I am. How the fuck is it? He's gonna make this really hard for me later, because I've almost have tables already. Fucking there. Oh, I got both keys. If I can just do this successfully, then that'll be great. Any sense? I even pick up this. Apparently, I still have the photograph. the drawer glitched and like half opened? Or is it like that because I already clicked the photograph in the previous run? Well, now I just need to get back to the fucking table, even though literally almost all the tables here are gone. You will hungry. You will hungry. I do hungry stuff. Okay. Enjoy your food. I could have just done the fucking other key thing afterwards. That would have been nice to know. I digress. See, you meant no harm. You just a real hungry boy. Now then. <clears throat> I guess that's our cue to get it out of here. His hand's not blocking the door anymore, so progress is available. I wonder if she got a head start when it took me like 30 minutes to get through this part. Probably not. Where did she go? Ran on the head. She told you not to follow her. Jane is here. Find her. But we're determined to try and find Jane. I like how they've super Americanized the names, just to make them easy to pronounce for Americans, though. Like, I'm pretty sure the names aren't Tim and Jane, but they keep on fucking calling them that. There's something of interest right there, but I'm not really sure what it is. It's like a little baby statue. It's covered in red paint and confetti. And snake confetti stuff, huh? Odd, but interesting. For some reason, it's like super dark in this area. I'm not really sure why. It's not even like a normal darkness type thing. Alright, let's read this. It's obviously a piece of Jane's diary. This one only has one side, too. I was up during the night again, not in the bedroom, but in the middle of the house. Seems like I couldn't get a hold of my senses. I couldn't shake off the feeling that I was being watched from outside the house. It felt as if there was that thing that tried to kill me in that nightmare. Jane, what is it? What is it? Why are you like this? Well, that's locked. She's feeling like a freak to herself, but anyways, sneaking, sneaking. Not much there. Things seem okay. 
which means back into whatever dark crevice we're going to a tiny spot. Okay. Oh wait, oh, this is gonna lead back to our house, isn't it? Which, this game is called Home Sweet Home, so I thought we might return home eventually. Let's see what's different about home this time, though. We have a big encounter, that's the end of the sequence. Oh, my house is dark. Home? Again? It all starts from home. Jake's still there. I need to get her out. Some of the pictures have fallen over, and notably our house is now in quiet disrepair. Finally, back to help Jane. You know, girl, I just don't think it's a wise idea to go giggling off in the shower. Who am I to judge, though? That door is locked. Our house is in complete disrepair. No new messages. Now then. Nothing this way. Nope. I keep on putting that picture back up, but I know it's just gonna fall over again later. Hey. A piece of mysterious photograph. I got another one earlier, so. goes, but I'm going to assume hopefully it collected the other one. I tried so hard. What else has been ruined about our home? Still got all the red string stuff across it. It's easy to forget about the red string just because it's literally everywhere. But don't forget, it's definitely important. There's literally no way the red there's literally no way that the red screen isn't important. Well, let's go upstairs. What might we expect to see? Chandeliers. Somebody really racks scavenged this place. If I'm the person that did the things to the old women and was part of a motorcycle game, then that guy was killed, though. I think that could be dead. It's definitely one standing theory. Teddy bear. Close the door for a second just to allow some exploration. Restoration. Exploration. Somebody haven't found the bathroom? Without me? Let's see what it says. Jane's Diary on April 21st, 2013. It's double sided, so let's see. Front. Last night, when I was about to sleep, I heard a noise from downstairs. My first thought was Tim. He was finally home. But there was no one when I got there. I was pretty sure that I hadn't been burglared, as everything was in place back. The only thing that caught my attention was a picture of me and Tim. It was falling. It kept falling, even though I put it back up so many times. Maybe the frame was down? That was it. I didn't think it had anything to do with bad luck, right? Well, I you know what? I know the exact frame as I keep on putting it up and it keeps on knocking down too. Weird noises coming from there. Sounds like radio jittering in there at the moment. Nice nightlight. I had the TV turned on. Thirty-seven, thirty-six, thirty. Wait a second. I should be concerned. This is counting kind of down, shouldn't I? <clears throat> Let's see what happens. I'm legitimately curious. Thirteen. That's frozen on 13. Happy I stayed. 13's a lucky number in some cultures, though. So this picture is the one that keeps on knocking down. Apparently she noticed it, too. That's fun. 
Red Strings of Fate still doing their thing. Check all that. 13's often unlucky, but it's also lucky in other cultures. It depends who you're asking, I guess. Hmm. Nothing else still there. Pretty sure I'm supposed to go upstairs. I'm just looking around first. I think that's very shiny. Now, up here, what are we going to locate? That is the question. I did hear a door unlock in there, which means I guess I should go for this. Yep, it did open. Alright, what's inside the bathroom? A bathroom. Blood. Alright, what's going on with this phone? Oh, is it downstairs phone? Yes, it is. Can't run in the house, though, so... So that's about what I expected. Anything else over in here? Hmm. Got to keep opening that picture frame up. Oh, hey, this door opened. Contact list that Jane would probably go to. So I understand what that's all about, so. Page diary from this day. It's got two sides too. Front. Just got back from the special treat at Rowan Sarut, our favorite place since we started dating. One of the special days, of course, because Tim was promoted to a senior technician. It warmed my heart just to see how ambitious he was. Back. If I felt uneasy, though, with what he did for me, Tim was so dedicated to his job. I mean, look at me. Whatever, it's alright, I will do my best to get on top of my career too. My next book is truly going to be a hit. Oh boy, author goals. Now then, contact list. Oh boy, juggling books. Something's running. Sounds like water. Probably from upstairs to this bathroom. Let's check through here. Things seem good. Let's go up. Some noise is having fun. Is Jane's room open? Nope. Some baby is really excited. Somebody moved the drawer. That's an inconvenient place for it. Was anything hidden behind it anyway? Still blood in here? Still blood in there. Hmm. Things seem okay. Did the door open up now? Yeah, but now it's open. And now Jane's room is open. Jane's room's got some light. Tim. Oh. Tim. It's in the car! It's right there, Tim! Jane, there's nothing there! Pictures and fun. Guess I just won't open anymore. Negatory. More pictures knocked over. Or just gone. That too. Oh, hi. Didn't really see what it was, but it was there. Doing its thing. 
Well, the bathroom got exciting while I was gone. Sure, I'll jump into the blood pit. Drag me in. And on the other side of the blood pit, we find whatever we're about to find, I guess. It would look like some sort of bathroom party. Let do its thing. It's probably one of the next area. We're making good progress, though. At least I feel like we are. I don't actually quite know how long this game is. Ah, we're gonna meet that girl again? Because it's got the blood pool thing going on. So probably it's gonna be the girl that comes out of the blood pools, right? At least you would think so. Find Jane. Pretty self-explanatory. This reminds me of the apartment world hallway in Silent Hill 4, but that's okay. It's just because it's narrow with the vents in the roof before you, so... Rats. Just peeking in some windows, don't mind me. The door is opening to welcome me in. How inviting, really. I got a note straight into this. Jane's diary on February 1st, 2013. It's got some sides, a little doodle there, haha. -ha. Angry face and sad face. Front. I w or I waited until the break of dawn. Tim, you didn't stay, did you? I know he was so caught up with his job. I don't want to be overthinking. He didn't mention that he would be working harder. Oh, Tim, my dear. Back. Well, Tim still sent me a picture as usual. This time he stood next to Dew. Tim told me once that Dew has his childhood best friend. They look so adorable next to one another. I wonder if they are still close friends. I mean, you could ask him, but of course the fact that you're not asking him does imply some distance going on. And of course, lockers to hide in. Yep. So we definitely, they're showing all the signs they're dealing with uh, box cutter girl again, I guess what I'm going to call her. Something just loaded. Hey, hey, hey. All this stuff to check out. Surprisingly dark looking at the end there. A mouse sounds very excited. Oh, it was Jane again. She ran off. Don't worry, Jane. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Even though I know it's not what she wants, but. And turn this on. Check this way. That's locked. There's a few lockers outside of it being locked. Is this closed behind me and now it's locked? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right, well, we got the way that Jane went. Oh, got you again. Problem is this type of locker I can't peek through. Well, I don't hear anything. And you can't peek through these lockers, so. Yes, we'll move out. I mean, worst this happens, I die. This is completely different. Ah, clever. Jane? Jane, wait! Please! Jane! Fuck! <laughs> Sorry. That gets locked, now Jane is running away.
Fun is to the fun side. So we got that. This is back to the police station, right? So the first area is the first area. This is the second area. That only made this area a lot darker with the screen tint. The door's just locked. Brighter up here, though. Well, time to duck on down and under. I think the big guy's gonna break through just like the woman just did right then. Jane, please wait! Screaming guy repeatedly turning on and off his flashlight in Jane's eyes. <laughs> I know, that's, that was kind of my joke there. I think it's the box cutter still. So I think that we're now dealing with the box cutter ghost. I can hear it right now, the box cutter. The first piece of photograph couple. Photograph a couple cut in half with the word Shane written behind it. Huh. I hear box cutter ghost chan, but that's why I'm not turning on my lights right now. Probably should think about it. There's a lock item right here. Oh, you might lockers here. Not the box ghost from Danny Phantom, the box cutter ghost. Jesus, the box cutter. That's locked. It's oxalic. Oxalic acid. See a pathway over there, I guess I'm heading towards. You guys think I should open it? It's locked. I was gonna try, I was curious. Don't know what's on been behind that. Oh. I am in the room with whatever it is. A blood splatter. Well, it's something. It's a man this time. It doesn't have any legs. Hmm. Some kind of chemical formula? I'll take a screenshot of this. Rust acylic water. So it looks like it needs rust something something. Move. Chemical products or products cabinet key. Okay, so I know what this key is for. Key to unlock a chemical products cabinet. I know what I need. I don't know if I need to hide yet. But I will. Da 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 da. So when I'm, I think the reason why it tells me to hide is because I need a duck it's to hide in these. So okay, there's the lesson. I need a duck to hide in these. Because if I just stand here, they can obviously see me. I'm just like, hi. So duck. 
I learned it. That was the thing I noticed me when it turned like it's gonna be looking this way, I'm gonna get caught immediately. Forwards. Shit! Yep, less than immediately. <laughs> It's all part of the fun. Peekaboo. We good, at least for the very second. Okay. So I need water. Kind of chemical stuff. I need oxalic, water, and rust. He's coming over here. He walking backwards. Just wandering, don't mind me. The hallway is actually the last place I want it right now. Probably gonna enter through here. Probably should be out in the hallway right now. There's no way I can hide in there. Is he coming this way? I need to go. I mean, worst comes the worst, she kills me. She, I don't know if she's like standing there or what. I feel like maybe I shouldn't go out those doors. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna. Oh, oh bad timing, bad timing to choose to come out. In retrospective, it's a very good thing I waited. Nothing. I'm just gonna go get those candy keys I was going for right now. Let's sneak on through. As I roll with you, I'm gonna go up in this thing right here right now. Hey. I don't have anything to rust right now. Ball that contains acid. I don't like the fact that she sounds so close. Pretty sure she's just on the other side of this right now. Using some audio based deductions, I'm pretty sure I'm correct about this right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't say. Super sneak. She might come in here or she might go in a little loop there. 
listening to the sounds to determine oh she's coming in here I'm good at calling this aren't I Don't mind me, ma'am. You know, she's very excited, but I've got things to do and people to see. Let's continue. I think there isn't a short way here. I think there's only the long way. Check when I go through next time. I'm fine. This is fine. Now, where's the rest of the equation? The wire sensibly could come from here. Maybe. Okay. Do I have a key I need? Let me just look in, let me be in here as I look at my inventory. Can I do that? No, but she sounds really close. I'm gonna hold my horses for a second. I'm just going around the bend right now. I just need water. Pour water. Pour salic acid. Mix and test solution. I mean, it's literally right there. Zalic, water, rust. Do I have anything with rust on it, though? Is that, am I supposed to have something with rust on it? Hmm. Am I missing something? I think I've got this right. Water. Maybe the water goes in afterwards. Zalic acid. I come back to you. Probably a key. Oh, you would think so. Where would I find it? Is the question. Peekaboo with me and you. Oh dear, oh my. Okay, so that seems fine. Well, I do have a metal bracelet. Solid. Dissolves in water. Oh, liquid. Alrighty. I mean, that looks pretty simple. You'd think I was going to put a key in here or something, but... Maybe I put the acid in first. And so exotic, so. 
And then maybe then I mix in the wire. Maybe I have to do it in that specific order. Mix and test solution. Am I missing something here? Maybe I'm supposed to put the rusty thing in, but maybe I don't have the rusty thing? Oh boy. Don't want to turn on my light right now, so like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're making the assumption I need to find something to mix in. Where? Here comes the problem. I should go this way. Hmm. If I was something rusty, I'm assuming a rusty key, where would I find me? Rusty key. Where are the mm -hmm. I want West Virginia? It's a song getting stuck in my head for some reason. I'm gonna hide in the locker for a second. I think he's coming here. I don't want him to just play high and lockers the game. Well, okay, I'm gonna talk to you guys. There's only like two rooms that seem important right now. There is a third room, I guess, backwards, but I didn't see a key in there. Got three, and maybe the true nature of the protagonist. There's some hints. I've got a few theories going by things that are going on. What do you guys think I'm supposed to find? I feel like I have most of what I need. I think she's in the room with me right now. She's definitely in the room with me right now. I'm gonna look backwards for a second. Oh boy. I feel like the thing that's missing from the equation is not the chemicals. I feel like I'm missing the key. I'm gonna look backwards for a second. Leave this ghost girl by herself for now. She'll be fine. She'll take care of herself. I was gonna make sure it wasn't like anything back here I needed that I might have missed or something. Then if not here, I wanna go room by room by room. Was there always more than one floor here? Wait, what? Oh. I promise you, I didn't actually know that. Oh. Anything else that was down here? I was just wondering because I didn't see any keys in my way. All I can say of that is, oh, okay. Now I actually know what that key goes to, I guess, too. Well, it all makes sense now. So it was back when we couldn't go through that door. It does signify what the key's for eventually. Moving on through just for me and you. She's probably in this room. Actually, she sounds like she's over there.
place is going back. Okay, yeah, she's going out that way. Alrighty, things are okay. I'm sorry I get quiet when I'm doing these sort of sequences in games. It's just I'm like, I'm super focused, and also I'm listening to the sounds, because her audio is pretty good to tell where she is. Uh, but also, it's because it's like the whole thing, like when you're talking to somebody who's being quiet, you start talking quieter sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes you do. You start talking quieter, even though you don't have to be quiet, but because they're being quiet and they have to be quiet, you're like, okay, well, I'll be quiet too, I guess. It's a subconscious thing. Probably is walking close to where I am normally, so I shouldn't head out yet. Yep, there she is. She's just doing her rounds. Only because you yell when others are quiet around. Not all the time. It depends. Now then. Don't mind me, woman. I'm doing my thing. Now that that's settled, I have my key. I can mix these chemicals. Alright. I'm gonna... Pour in some acid. I'm gonna put in the water. Mix and test the solution. And then I got a magical key, school building key. Hide in here. In case she heard chemicals fizzing. She's very inconsistent in what she can and cannot hear. She can hear a radio, but she can't hear a fucking loud grate opening, as we experienced previously. Now then. He's having fun with that box cutter. How it feels to fight demons like this mentally, and it feels like a trial like this, and it dodge around certain obstacles to avoid getting them off, like the tail demon in the previous areas. I know how it feels, I mean, you know how it feels there. Yeah, yeah. I... I don't know when she says that line, it's like, we something together forever. All of her lines are about being together forever and I want to see you and stuff like that, or... Way she's going right now. Oh, she's not approaching this door. Okay, yes, he's in the room to the left right now. I wonder why it's not like she was coming back to the left. It's because she was in the room and I heard her well enough, so yeah, yeah. Kind of where she is positioned right now, so. Hmm. 
checking this there. Happy things have been going there through the dragon. I'm just playing the waiting game right now. I could rush it. I feel like it's not a good idea though. Close, but no cigar. Or just insanely watching Ryan suddenly go through an insane game. Don't forget to mention it's on New Year's Eve. Maybe she's just stalking that area. Maybe she's almost out. Like maybe it's because she, maybe her AI is rubber banding and she knows I need to go through that room because it's the only way to get back to where I was. But then if I'm wrong and I go out, then yeah. I I'm gonna judge now, see which way she walk out. If she does not walk out, so it sounds like she's walking away. Then I'm gonna go in. I do read messages, just, you know, I'm playing this right now, so I'm like, oh boy, I'll leave that between you fellers. You know what? I'm pretty sure the AI is rubber banding. We'll sneak out. Don't mind me. I think this is the first time I've gotten caught in stealth with this particular stalker. There were two hiding spots. This is the one that came to my mind immediately. Ignorance is not. I'm reading everything. It's selective what I reply when I'm recording stuff, basically. Uh, this looks fine. I did get spooked. I'm gonna tail her. Place your bets now if I'm going to effectively tail her. Town was a pretty good game, if I'll be honest. I liked it a lot. I'm growing fonder of it when the distance is brighter. Okay, you know what? Bear out is fine.
The problem is that right now I don't know if she's in my hallway or if she's been back into the classroom. Adjust that and oh boy. Yeah, she's on the other side. That really turned me around. Well, it's not my fault, she's fucking guarding where I need to go. We're good, I think, until she starts doing like a cinematic run after you sequence. I really hate how Atlas did that all the fucking time. Sorry, just, this game obviously has some amnesia and Atlas influence and failure frame influence <laughs> and some other things, but you know, whatever. It's fine. It mixes together in an interesting enough way. Now I gotta open the door. Ta da! Obviously very impressive that I just pulled it up right there. Everyone could be like, wow, Ryan, how did you get so good at taking so long? And I'd be like, well, you know, it takes experience. Nothing there, nothing here. And yet we're probably going to catch up to Jane, despite the fact that she had like a fucking 30, 40 minute head start. It's not been actually that long. Maybe it's been 30 minutes, 40 minutes to stretch. I think it's more like 20, 30 minutes. What if I just pulled the fire alarm and everything went to hell right now? Oh, no. Jane's Diary, February 18th, 2013. It's got two sides. Let's see. Front. Tim got home so late recently. Most of the time when I was already asleep, how could you take care of your family if you need to keep this up? I know being patient is what I could do. Tim said that he would be more flexible with his job next year. We could have had started our lovely family then. Ah, oh, that would be so sweet. Back. We haven't talked much lately, but he has truly the only, he's truly the only person who listened to me. No matter what it was about, he was very supportive. Sometimes I was being annoying with my writing, but he was there for me, giving me his dull ideas. But he was there, that counted. Doing the writing thing. As in then, well, let's see. Check things through. Jane? On air. Broadcasting room. Jane might be in the other building. Find a way to her. I don't like how this room is stationed. <laughs> I wish I mean, I feel like I'm gonna have to sneak. Because there's signs of being able to duck under things in here. Whatever, I'm just gonna walk around till I know there's danger. Hmm. Pretty normal. You know when you gotta go. <laughs> Smear it all over the walls. That's the spirit, kids. Let's see over here. This door it actually opens. I actually expected it to be locked based on how it looked. Toilet. That one won't open. That one won't open. But one of these toilets is locked unlike the others. One of these toilets is just not the same. Checking things. The honest truth is not everyone is particularly an emotionally mature type person though, so... Well then. Some people just aren't good with handling emotions. He does seem like a workaholic though, I will definitely say that. Cough, cough. Now then. Note from AJ Warren. It's 
students who don't here's something which I should clarify. I don't think Tim is being abusive from what's been shared so far. There might be something that we don't know about, but from what's been shared so far. Um neglectful might be a better word for it. I don't think neglect is specifically abuse. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Students who don't have key cards yet, but desire to use the lab room, please contact AJ, Warren, in the teacher's weighing room on the second floor. Let me read that just to make sure I got that down. Students who don't have key cards yet, but desire to use the lab room, please contact AJ, Warren, in the teacher's weighing room on the second floor. Second floor teacher's room, AJ. Like this. Well then. up let's look about now then locker for the fun of it so I'll remember that there's a locker in here in case I need it I don't have the box cutter yet <laughs> got that going for me Two lockers, in fact. On the opposite sides of the room. What room was this? Uh, no idea. So this area does definitely... It's either they're trying to make you think you're going to be stalked, or you are going to be stalked. It's one of those two. Can be true from both sides. Overwhelmed by overworking. Now then. Checking this. She even mentioned that like, she paid more attention than anyone else about her writing and other things that she was interested in. Even if she didn't think his suggestions were very good. Still though? Now then... Hmm... Yep, we all heard the box cutter. Thing is, it can't come over here. I literally cannot hide right now anywhere in here. Nothing else to switch. All oh, power was turned on. Okay, let me see her right there. this.
fuck my life. Oh boy, oh boy. I just didn't want to get caught too far back, because then it's going to get hard going forward. So, is that a box cutter, not an egg timer? Yeah, it's a box cutter. The other side of the coin is we're reading things from Jane's perspective. We're not reading them from Tim's perspective. So keep that in mind. We're literally playing Tim's perspective. But then we're getting all the story stuff from her diary, so... I think she's gonna find me. I was right there. But... Well, we've already seen her, and she said some odd lines when we saw her previously. Uh, basically along the lines, it sounds like she was getting haunted by ghosts, as you mentioned. And she started seeing things in her dreams and ending up in weird places and her uh, night sleep stuff going on. And when she started seeing Tim here as well, she started freaking out, so... And she told us not to follow her. And the implication I was getting at the moment is that following her is a bad idea. We're probably, she's involved in something, and by following her, we're getting ourselves involved too. So, yeah, yeah. I... That's why I pulled her away from the cutscenes that we've experienced so far, but yeah, yeah. I... Tim could be a demon. Tim could also be dead. That's what I was saying. He also could be related to the motorcyclist thing that was being mentioned earlier. Alright, I'm waiting for the pass to either enter this room, so... She didn't recognize us. As we go, as we go, as we go. Okay, she's on train side here right now. This is actually pretty much what I wanted. Or at least I've turned the power on. To be honest, I don't exactly know what I need to turn the power on for. I feel stupid now I'm saying it out loud. It's the elevator to get to the second floor. Hope so, because that's what I'm trying. Yeah, was it? It said I need something for the second floor, so... Her job was a writer. The note did mention I need to go to the second floor, so... Okay. Not much there. They lit out candles to the bathroom, but because there's actually no lights. What are these? Mm. 
I don't know what the fuck that sound I'm hearing right now is. I'll go there in a little bit. This floor is honestly fairly creepy. You guys think I should go to the left or you guys think I should go forward? Left or forward? Seems like a pretty big area. Well, there are certain publications that people read for the articles. Left or forward? That's just what someone was saying there on the I. Hmm. Forward? Alrighty. I'm afraid I'm going to trigger her just because I don't really know where I'm headed right now. This area is kind of bigger than I thought it was going to be. One, one, two, three. It's fun. Sounds kind of like crying, the sound I was playing. Yes, it did. I thought it sounded like crying, but then it was kind of quiet to be coming from the bathroom. I was also thinking that. This room is completely empty. Hmm. Well, that door is locked, but it looks like there's some interesting stuff going on in there, so I guess I'm going to have to find the key. At least now I know that. Given, I don't think I can get hunted here easily. I can't hide under the tables or anything. There's not any good hiding spots through here, so. Check this way. Gonna check this door next. Rain this, that's fine. That's fine as well. If I can check... Blood does lead that way. So what might be resting in the dark? The one door that will open. Oh. Okay. For some reason I thought it was going to be locked now. That's just something in the distance. I thought it was a figure standing there. I was trying to confirm, and now it's just a window. I mean, I knew she was going to pop up again. I just hope it wasn't so soon. This is her big time to shine. Problem is I don't exactly know where she is, so I just have to kind of wait for her. That I could be daring, but I think waiting might be the better option here. Uh, this is not a Russian game. This is a Thai game. Yeah, it's Thailand, and the language that you're seeing is Thai. Trust me, 100% this is a Thai horror game. That's not just my opinion, like, I legitimately know that. The developers of this game are Thai, the setting is Thailand, all the mythology in this game is from Thailand, the developers, again, are from Thailand, and it's a Thailand game. And also, if you go to the dub menu, there's two languages you can play in, English and Thai. So it's like, hi, hi. <clears throat> I don't think she's coming over here, at least not yet. Of course, just watch them when I start trying to go elsewhere. She's gonna pop up, of course. She 
sounds so close. Fuck my life. I know she sees me. Too small of an opportunity, and I can hide as well as I want to. Oh, if I knew she was gonna check the locker, turn her back, then and I could have. Fun, fun. I actually, I've only been spotted by her in the last area and this area. This is the second sequence of the game that she's appeared in. In the first sequence, I never even got spotted by her because I was doing okay then. These areas are a bit trickier. So. I don't really know how she fully works, but I kind of know just because I've played games like this before. It's coming back over here. Watch your little feetsies. Yeah, fun in here. It gives me a chance to finally fucking move forward. Trying to move forward in the world. Trying to move forward in the world. There's two doors open here. I probably shouldn't loot, uh, loot in here, but I just need to know if there's anything in here. Hiding spot. I'm doing this fucking one room at a time, as it were. There's two more lockers in here, at least now I know that, I guess. We're just gonna have some fun, don't mind me. Oh, hey. I'll look at that photograph a bit later. Surprised I found anything in there, if I'll be frank, but... I'm going that way, I'm assuming. Guess what? Perfect sneaky now opportunity for me. One other room conquered. Moving down the hallway. There's a locker to hide in, but honestly, I guess that's a dead end. This is where I need to register a card. Memo. Oh boy. There's no way for me to hide over here though. She finds if she comes over this direction in her path thing, then I will be 
caught and doomed. AJ Warren's uh, salary receipt. You wouldn't kill a man reading a note, would you? <laughs> ID number one eight three four seven six. AJ Warren number one six. One eight. So this does work. One eight three four seven six. The ID number. She'll probably be back, but it gives me some time to at least see what this is all about. So, someone write this down for me. Thank you. 183476. 183476. Teacher's ID card. Teacher's ID card to unlock an electronic door. D card instructions. Insert your card in the machine. Insert your password. Swipe the card once and the password is entered. And I must have done it correctly because it's not letting me interact with any of this stuff anymore. Alright, another locker to hide in there. The real difficulty because I don't actually know where she is right now. I'm gonna get caught by her and then, yeah. I don't think there's anything down here for me. I feel like I have to go back because I know where this key card goes. But, being me, I have to fucking know. There was a bathroom. What am I gonna be doing in the bathroom? Hopefully not getting caught by her. That's the dream. Sounds like she's coming this way, but I don't actually know if she is or isn't. I'll give it a little bit. Maybe she's wandering to the next room. Seems fine. She sounds close, but maybe it's okay type of close. Yeah, she's in the room. Not here, here. I know where she is right now. She's inside the other room next to me. Please don't see me when I walk by. Thank God she must have her back turned at the right time. Don't mind me, ma'am. I'm just on my merry way. Oh boy, all the fucking horror cell thing going on in here. The fuck is this over here? It's the bathroom. I know which floor I need to go to, but I might just try another floor to see what else is around these parts. I know it's not this door, I need to go back to the floor. I think I was on floor one. I'm gonna start from floor four to see what's in store. I'm on floor two right now. Cannot go to floor one. 
four two or three then. I don't know if I was on four three or four when I started. I think I was on four three probably, which means it's the four I'm about to go to. Yeah, this is yeah, this is definitely the right floor. Alright, I was on floor four then. Fuck, it comes right in front of me. I'm just curious, what was floor four then? Didn't actually check that out. There's nothing I know I need to do here. This is my own curiosity and exploration game, me. Floor 4 looks like shit compared to the other two floors, though. Da, 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 da. Let's see, what might we find? She likes to appear in hallways. I've put that together for my various encounters in this area, but still, though. Check this through. There is a blood pool there, because she appears from blood pools for her to appear in. Keep a note of that. Looks like that's a diary page I can pick up, or a note or something. It's a suicidal letter. Oh my. Not double-sided, though. Someone's suicidal letter says, Father, Mother, I'm deeply sorry. I'm in such terrible pain. I can't go on without her. I have to be with her. Wherever she is, nothing can keep us apart. Not even death. And there was somebody who saw a letter. Now I'm sure there's not much to do on this floor. Actually. I'll be honest, it's a bit more in-depth than I was expecting, which means I'm expecting you're a box cutter very, very soon. I'm not very happy with the layout of this area, just because I want to go back in the sneak mode. I've had enough sneaking! Da, 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 da. That's just locked. There is, however, all the signs that this will be a sneakable area. Or maybe not. I don't judge. It could just be leading me to believe it is without actually being one. Okay, so this needs something to be open, which means I'm going to probably have to come here last, which... Five guesses why I might be coming over here, then. Piece of mysterious photograph. Picking up more of those. Oh, that's going to be useful. I came here early, which I think is what happened. I think I wasn't supposed to come here yet. But I did. That's going to be useful in the long run. I think I need to use the key card to open up that one door. It's going to be something to open this up, is my guess. And then when I get here, what I'm supposed to be doing, what I'm supposed to be doing here, I'm assuming I'm going to be having an encounter with everyone's favorite spooky ghost. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, everyone's favorite spooky ghost with a box cutter. Don't want to be too broad in general. Aye, 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 aye. No stores locked. Well, at least I have a general idea of how this area works. Let's sneak on back. I'm sure, this door's also locked. Yep. Not very surprising. Two rooms to make it through. This locker there will work. There's three lockers between the two rooms that will work. Two in this room, one in the other room.
I'll be back, I'm sure. I'm like pretty sure I'm coming back to this area shortly. Just not yet. All right, floor three. She's still in this hallway, or did she leave? Oh, we already read this note, but I'm gonna look at it again. Students who don't have key cards, yep, did it. Now swipe it. Swipe it! Well, this is dark as can be. Yeah, I'm sure this will be great. locked behind me. Dog goes sound like they're having a good time. Also, this is a good opportunity for me to check whatever I picked up there earlier. This is the diary. Uh, let's see. The student spirit. Newspaper. That's not it. Or a photograph, newspapers, kind of looking. There was something I picked up, which I want to figure out where it was on here. Janji. Get all these pieces of mysterious photograph. It's all coming together. Picture of a knife. Daily report. Presta. This is the picture I picked up, or no, it wasn't. Whatever, it was a picture of some ritual. I got that. Alright. Well, let's see what's inside this other building, which I've been working hard to obtain. Oh, well, there's a dead end there. I'll remember that. Well, let's see... Flashlight helps at least a little bit. Though it's not like the most useful flashlight in the world either, I definitely agree there. That's locked. That's not even interactable. Find Jane. Jane? Jane! <laughs> oh boy. A, there are demons. B, I hear the box cutter already. Why can't find Jane just be easy? Two lockers to hide in. The reflections are kind of freaky, not gonna lie. Description of ghost summoning. Scented incense is the main tool used in every religious ritual. By lying scented incense in different amounts, it will result in different outcomes. However, if one is lit, it's meant to be as a mean to summon spirits to you. Those who cuts off. So I need incense. Sir, I was just peeking. We can hope this works out okay. This will be fine. This is fine. Peekaboo. 
You don't know me. Except unless, of course, you do. Okay. I'm assuming there's something with all those candles over there. There's a locker there I can hide in. The demon does look inside this room. I don't know if those are demons. Where are they? Red glowing eyed dead people? I swear a guy moved his vision here earlier, but I wasn't like doing it at all. Or I wanna fucking risk it. Oh boy, oh boy. Gonna light a little incense. Oh yeah, the demon. Ah, it attracted him. I gets it. And I was just distracted by that. There's another demon in here. And box cutter girls even closer. I can hear her. I don't see her. I'm worried, I'm worried about checkpoints working in the sequence, I'm going to be honest. Okay. Okay. All those candles there imply I have to go over there for some reason. May I have to put down more incense to distract this guy? Put a locker there for me to hide in. a window outside there, but I hear her walking around outside, but I don't actually see her. Well, this is gonna be fun and a half, I can retell that much. Okay. So then the question becomes... I don't know to get caught, I was gonna say, but... for the fun of it. Oh boy. Hey Scotty. So I uh, listen to this guy whisper on off. Well I see her walking off. Enough walking off for me to get out of here. I'm gonna hope so. There's another candle there, which means another incense thing. Oh fuck! Oh! Crit says she can't see me again. So does. Fun, fun! Now then. <laughs> F 
fun fun now I need another incense stick but where would I get another incense stick that is the question maybe I should go around the other okay I've got an idea of maybe what I'm supposed to do now let's see where my checkpoint led me to I thought I might be here oh boy I generally know what I'm kind of doing here. Find Jane. Me, Tarzan. Open this stuff here. I have 100% seen this guy look inside this room. But I'm going to risk it right now. It's not fun that I have to do everything over again. There was hoping there was at least a checkpoint between these two points. But alas, you know, pickers can't be choosers all the time. Now my weird thought is, can I sneak behind this guy? The answer is actually yes. However, there's no point to. So I need to find another incense stick, so... Hmm... Oh, that's another one's laying around here, right? I'm a little bit concerned. Locker there to hide in. I cannot open this door. The problem is there isn't like any other direction for me to go in. So what do you guys think I'm supposed to be doing in this situation? I'm trying to gauge that myself right now. Hmm. Honk. I need incense. I know that. There's an incense in the previous area, though. And I think I've actually been spotted by the blade girl twice, not the red egg guy. I think that's what's been going on. Because she kind of passes by the door, and I guess she can see me easier than this other guy can. Then again, the red sight thing is over here. I say as he spots me immediately. Yep. One can hope. I'm gonna try something stupid.
he does actually change his perspective from left to right. I only just noticed that. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing finally. Because I only just noticed this stupidly. Also, keep in mind she also walks by this area like I'm seeing right now. Well, at least I got by that bit. The problem is I don't think I'm getting any checkpoints in here, so if I fail, at least I mean at least I'm figuring it out. But downsides, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start all over. Oh boy, what's in here? That needs a key and a half. Okay, incense stick. I don't know if she walks in this room yet or not, so... There are lockers in here. Of course, if she sees me go inside the locker, she's just gonna stab me, so... Okay, to confirm, she... Oh, no. At least three lockers to hide in there. Continuing. Okay. Change eyeballs. Sneak right now. I'm gonna wait a second. <laughs> Please tell me I can hide before she spots me. Please tell me she didn't see me coming here. Please don't. I'm so close.
We have to assume she he doesn't see me from here. Oh, please don't fucking stab me! I know in some cases it's very close, but I it's harder to do this than you think it is, woman with the box cutter. This would work, but I hope it does. Fuck my life. I really tried. I know where I'm about to start from, and I'm not excited for it. I'm going to try one more time. For the night on the New Year's night. And the sequence. The sequence seems hard though. That is if I start at the very beginning, which I think I'm gonna do, but I'm, uh, if I'm lucky, maybe I start. No, I start at the very beginning. Alright. All or nothing for tonight. Let's find out. I saw him peek inside this room once. But I haven't seen him do it since that one time. So I think it's just kind of safe to just go in here and pick up the incense. Get the fuck out of here. And even if he does spot me, all I need to do is run inside the locker and I'll be okay. She's too far away to reach me very quickly. Let's put this in. Incense stick in, sneak on by. Da, 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 da. He's gonna go over there and do his thing. All right, first bit, easy peasy. Open the door and get ready for a second. But the problem is the positioning of this one is so tricky, especially since they're both monitoring that area. They're both kind of in the same area. If one of them doesn't spot me, the other has the potential to spot me. And frankly, the thing which is bothering me is that I don't think I get to the candle very, very easily with how he has set up. Like, he spots me half the time I go this direction. Now, he does look this direction. I understand that. But yeah. I... Can I just... No, I shouldn't just walk when they're like this. But then the other half of this is that it sounds like she's close right now with the box care. So even if I go right now, I feel like she'll spot me. I think she's walking away now. Now I need to wait for him to switch back over looking at me and then yeah. I... Fuck, like now she's right there. And I was like, I could have got the timing right to avoid him, but not her. And instead of running like she usually does, she uses a slow approach for some reason right now. I thought she was further away than just staying right there and could spot me right then. Oh boy, oh boy. Don't mind me, ghosties. Okay. 
Now, in some fairness to the game, he's just been a lot longer looking that direction in this direction, so... I was sneak, da da sneak, da 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 sneak, sneak, a sneak, sneak, a sneak, da da She's got her there right now. Almost fucking stepped out. Though I would have been safe, but I should wait. A little bit of patience will go a long way right now. Right here's another case of patience. I know that she's going to pop up behind him pretty soon. Yep, right now. So I shouldn't have snuck out right then, or else he was going to spot me. I'm going to wait till she goes the other way. Which is right now. But I'm just going to look over there. Now a deeper question, how the fuck do I get past her? She's really closely monitoring this area. locker there also if I get caught. Did I fucking finally do it? Fuck it, just give this to me. I've worked so hard for this one. Oh, please just say this is it. I don't need any last minute twist. That was hard, okay? Okay. Please give me a checkpoint if you throw something else at me. We actually achieve victory. I don't know. I'm hoping the game isn't really obvious when it's checkpointing. So I don't know if I got a checkpoint. If I got a checkpoint, that's all. Oh, that's good enough for me. I'll be happy. If I didn't, though, I'm gonna be like, uh oh. Parents letter to Shane Academic Advisor. Shane Academic Advisor, December 14th, 1996. Shane is now having a severe mental breakdown. The first diagnosis shows that Shane's experiencing hallucinations caused by stress. There is also some neurological problems that cannot be identified yet. He has to be kept under strict and close care at the psychiatrist. On behalf of Shane and his guardian, I'd like to take an extended leave from now until he is fully recovered. Regards, Shukit, that person's name. This area seems fine. Obviously, a okay checkpoint, not checkpoint. I'm about to get stabbed by the box cutter ghost here, but yeah, yeah. Sneaking on by as best as we can, seeing where we end up now. Da 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 da. Okay. Seems fine currently. Don't let me get started too soon on that. I'm gonna still take this carefully, just to be on the safe side. 
Negatory, negatory. If I... I'm gonna go buy some windows, which I'm about to do, actually. Nothing in here? I mean, it's decorated well enough, but nothing in here? Okay. Ventilation, continuing. Oh boy, oh boy. Hippo Joy. Guess the room I've been heading for. See the open bloody locker. See the other lockers that are here though. My flash went off in cutscene. Blood pouring from the walls. Hmm. It was a very bloody locker even before all this. Newspaper day October 14th, 1996. Some stuff on the backward side. Yep. Let's read it. Missing girl found dead. On October 3rd, police found the body of Mrs. Patricka Sariska Bell in the multi-purpose room that was shut down in the engineering facility building of Kanayao University, which is believed to be the reason why the body wasn't found. The unbearable smell of the body led to this horrifying discovery. The body was still in uniform, submerged in blood. There's no report yet on whether or not this was a suicide or a murder. But there were a lot of nails found next to the body. The body was sent to the coroner, and we hope the autopsy will reveal the cause of death. Fun, fun. Well, that's all fine and dandy. I'm assuming that the, now that I go backwards, things are going to change. It's probably. Probably. Yep. Now I'm back in this part of area again. It's been a while since I've been in this sort of setting. To be fair though, or to be honest though, I'm completely done with, uh, with stealthing. Get out of this place. I'm like, ah, I might need a break if, this, if it's the next section too. It is nice to be back here. In fact, I didn't recognize... Uh, crowbar. More precise than that. Oh. All, if all the cows are put out, the door might open. Oh boy. Do I do this now or do I do this later? I'm a little. I feel like I might enjoy this more if I take a break. But I also might be scared more. Maybe I won't be as much in the groove. Or maybe I'm less in the groove. I don't fucking know. What I thought is, I've been doing a few sections with this girl in a row. I, I'm enjoying this overall, but frankly, I don't think it's a good design that literally, I think the last four or five, yeah, and I've, it is definitely five, the last five major sections of the game have all been about me avoiding this girl. There's not really been, like, there's been little breaks in between them, but there's not been really been much in the change of pace. Here is, in succession, what I have done. I followed Jane down an alleyway, and then the girl appeared and I hid in the locker. When I stepped out of the locker, I was now inside the school. Inside the school, I then turned on the power, and that was the first sequence of avoiding her more properly. After which, I went downstairs into a hallway. Once I went downstairs into a hallway, it was another sequence of avoiding and hiding her. Then I went out, and then there was two sequences kind of in a row of avoiding and hiding from her. And now I'm in another sequence of avoiding and hiding her, and I'm like, uh... <laughs> that makes sense. It's not even that avoiding and hiding from her is I'm actually it's kind of enjoyable, if I'll be honest. It has its own sort of fun, I guess. But so many in a row has me like, oh And this might be really close to the end of the game. This looks like a thing. However, I think I might enjoy this more overall if I uh, stop for now and resume it next time I play horror games, which I'll try and make soon. Like, just play this, and then maybe I'm probably close to the end, so maybe when I play this, I'll also play something else like how I played Helltown as well today. 
but I think that'll be the way for me to enjoy this best as opposed to forcing myself through another sequence like this. At the moment, I feel like I'll enjoy it more when I'm away from it for a little bit as opposed to going straight into it, if that makes any sense. I think it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully that's understandable. <laughs>